Hello, I'm here with Mr. Haas and Jess Dobb, Richard Harrison. Hi, I'm Jess Dobb. What are yeah. doing here, Mr. Haas? We are going to use the limit definition of the derivative to find the slope at a point. It's going to be very exciting. Okay. Woo! Well, you got to have fun with that. you got to have fun with that because I'm leaving. I have two guests with me here, Chelsea and Max. You want to say hello? Hello. Hello. Hey. 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 Woo! All right. Woo. So here we go. This is this is really, this is your first calculus uh, equation right here. Is it not? It yeah, is. It is. You know, I mean, I know it looks like a crazy thing, but, you know, this is really just a slope equation, right? F of x plus h minus f of x. This is just like y2 minus y1 and h, you know what that represents? The difference in x's. Yeah, that's change in x. That's like the horizontal distance. So I know it seems crazy, but I'm trying to find the slope between two points where the distance between those two points is approaching zero. Right. So, like, the x distance is approaching zero. That's why I'm finding the limit. Yeah. Obviously, if I stick in a zero right away, I would, this thing would be undefined. So I've got to do a little bit of uh, algebra first. Yeah. And here we go. Uh, f of x plus h. This is always a little bit confusing to the students. I'm uh, to students. I'm putting x plus h in for x in my function. Right. So I would write uh, f. Uh, oops. Look at this. I'm messing up already. Oh my God, Mr. Uh, Step the game up. It's been a long day. So I would write limit as h approaches zero of, do you know what to write here? x plus h squared. I'm putting x plus h into x squared, okay, so this is x plus h squared. Minus 3 x plus h. Terrific. Plus 1. Plus 1. Again, maybe it looks a little weird visually, but I'm just taking x plus h and sticking it into these x's. Right. That's all I'm doing. You still have me on camera? Are you following me here? You are looking great. All uh, right, just want to staying with me. All right. Yeah, what yeah. am I up to now? Sorry, what? What am I up to now? You're up to... Now you're up to minus f of x. Minus f of x. Well, what's you're f of x? You're just going to plug that whole thing right in That there. whole bad boy right there. So that's x squared minus 3x plus 1. It's all good? Yeah. We're all good. All over h. So far, so good? Yeah. Yeah. That's working? It's Camera, you still got me? We got you. All right. On frame. Now it's just, it's not even calculus anymore. It's just algebra. It's just algebra. So, limit as h approaches zero. How do I square this thing? X squared. You're going to foil it. Huh? you got to foil it. So really, you can't just, it's not just x squared plus h squared. It's really, you have to imagine x plus h times x plus h. So it's so x really squared plus 2xh. HX, HX, makes a difference. Plus H squared. H squared, terrific. Distributing. Minus 3X. 3X minus, minus H. 3H. Minus 3H, terrific. Yeah. Plus 1, distribute that negative. Negative X squared plus 3X minus, minus 1. one. Right. Really, I don't even need these parentheses here. So now we can cross out or get rid of those. over h. Oh yeah, what can we get rid of? The you x can get rid of x squared. A positive x squared and a negative x squared. Um, the one. I've got a one and a negative one. The three x's. I've got a three x and a negative three x. I think that's it. That's it. So oh, what's but left now you can pull out an h, right? Everybody left on top has an h. That is no accident. That must happen. <laughs> Limit as h approaches zero. I'm going to factor out an h from this guy. I have a 2x from this guy. I have an h from this guy. I have a negative 3 over h. Now, oh, go ahead, cross it on out. Yes, that's the whole. It's like a removable discontinuity. That's why I can't just stick in a zero for h right away. It would be undefined. I'd have zero on the bottom. But now that I've gotten rid of those h's, now I could put in a zero for h, and what would I have? Sorry, you now have two x plus h. Minus put three. in a zero for the h. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is two x plus zero minus three, also known as two x minus three. Right. The h disappears. Right. Okay. Great. I I would like to find the slope for the x value two. Just plug it on in there. Wow, look at that. 4 minus 3? 1. Also known as 1. The slope is 1. 
All right. That's it. Woo. Great. Not too bad, I think. Not that bad. A long, long occasion.